My stance is that I don't see how the governor can continue to do his job. More political pressure for Andrew Cuomo after a sixth woman accused the governor of workplace misconduct. According to the Albany Times Union, the woman claimed Cuomo touched her inappropriately last year at the governor's mansion. I think more will come out still. Um, I think uh, the way the governor has comported himself, himself for years uh, created a lot of fear and um, a lot of people felt they could not speak up and now they feel they can speak up and I think you're going to see more. Also speaking up, activists with Vocal New York. New York needs no leadership! And you Cuomo, you should quit! They stretched across 3rd Avenue, blocking traffic with a banner that read, Cuomo canceled New York. If we have an elected official, that person is accountable to us as people, right? And if that person is not doing their job, one, they need to resign. Protesters said they were fed up with the nursing home scandal, new reports of alleged misconduct, and the governor's handling of homeless New Yorkers. When several demonstrators refused to move from the roadway outside the governor's office, they were taken away by the NYPD. This is the only thing that works against Governor Cuomo. We saw that even the, the, the powerful um, call from Audrey Stewart Cousins called him to resign and he didn't even do that. Uh, let the investigation get the facts and we'll take it from there. Governor Cuomo insisted this week he never touched anyone inappropriately. Still, the state Senate Republican leader Rob Ort told PIX11 he believes the governor needs to go. And the legislature may have an obligation, and I think does, to remove him from office. And while the state assembly is weighing up, uh, possibly impeaching the governor, he has doubled down this week saying he will not resign. And again, the governor saying he did not touch anyone inappropriately. Reporting live from Midtown Manhattan this evening, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News.